Welcome everyone. Today we are talking about unpivot. Unpivot is a feature of Power Query, which doesn't get talked a lot about in basic pivot table training because it's really not um, part of creating pivot tables. To unpivot a set of data means to take what looks like it's part of a pivot table and literally unpivot or change the metrics and dimensions in such a way that it's the actual raw data table is now reformatted in a, in a different way. So I'll show you what I mean. So here I have a sample of data from uh, our data set and I can create a pivot table from this. So I'm gonna create it on the same page just for um, kind of simplicity here. So pivot table pane should go back over here. And if you notice to add the views, likes, shares, and comments, I have to click one by one over there, which isn't a big deal. Um, but then I can, let's, let's say I wanted to group by day. Every three days, I wanna know how many views, likes, some shares. Okay, so I have a, a pivot table here. So one of the most common reasons I use Unpivot is to allow greater flexibility for the end user. If I have even more metrics, sometimes there's 10, 20, 30 to choose from, you might have uh, you know, all of these columns to choose from. The list of fields to choose from in your pivot table pane just gets to be longer and longer and it's harder to find. I mean, you can search but now you're searching for every single metric you want to uh, use. It, it gets to be a bit taxing, especially for someone that's looking at this data from the end user side, and they just wanna get their answers. So now we're going to do unpivot. We'll delete that. And so the way unpivot works is you actually use a part of Excel uh, that's labeled get and transform data. This is basically what Power Query is. So we're gonna use this section called Get and Transform Data. And for the purposes of this video, you can think of those as the same thing. Power Query, Get and Transform Data. And we are going to transform this data from a table or range. So I click that, it's doing its thing, and we'll actually have this Power Query editor that comes up. So that is the range. And so now I have the data loaded um, into this Power Query editor. And there are so many things you can do inside of this editor, but we're just going to focus on unpivot. So if we go to transform, you can see unpivot columns right here. What I'm going to do is select only the metrics. That's 99% of the time when I use uh, unpivot, I'm unpivoting columns that are metrics. So if I unpivot columns after selecting only the metrics, look what happens. I now have a brand new column that has all of the metrics in its own column. If I come back over to home and click close and load, that's it. But now look what happens when I create a pivot table from this new data set. So pivot table is created the exact same way. I'm gonna change this to, um, I'll say amount, and then I'll say metric here. So I'll refresh that so that the labels. So now what happens is I can do metric here amount, and then day. So now I have a selector that I can use to cycle through, if I'm the end user, each of these metrics. I can also put this over the top and get the view as before. If I wanted both the ability to choose metrics and the ability to look at multiple metrics at the same time, I can use something called a slicer. A slicer can be found in the pivot table analyze tab. I'll click insert slicer and I'm gonna choose metric, which is this new column we created using unpivot. 
now with the slicer, the end user has maximum uh, flexibility. So if I just want to use view or look at views, I can click that. If I hold control, I can look at views and comments, likes. Now any dimension you have works the same way. The end user now has all this flexibility to target only the data they want instead of just assuming, instead of you just assuming that they want to see everything in your pivot table. So it really adds a lot of flexibility and we would not have gotten there as quickly without being able to use unpivot.